Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Painting in Place. I'm Scott, and today we are going to continue work on our wonderful Drow Empress on her throne, or for right now, just the Drow Empress. We've, uh, we'll give her her throne here once she's done. Last, uh, last week we did a lot of work on highlighting and we, uh, well, base colors as well as highlighting, and we got her, uh, her skin done. So now we're going to get to move on to everything else, and hopefully... Fingers crossed, I think we might actually be able to finish her today. My, wow, my goodness, chat is already blowing up. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -do. Um, oh, hey, uh, NB Taitu. Looks like, uh, thank you so much for dropping in. Uh, you hope that work goes well. And hopefully we get a chance to see you. Eric, great to see you as well. Ben, hello, how are you? Uh, Brioni, lovely to see you. And, oh, pff, Nightbot. I don't have to say hi to Nightbot. Uh, <laughs> Oh, fantastic. It looks like we've got uh, the, the gangs all back together. Okay, man, I've been looking forward to today for quite some time. I think that I'm really excited to keep working on her. Before we get going, let me see what announcements we have. I want to start with saying we have a new video up on YouTube today, the, the next episode of The Bestiary, Monster Manual A through Z, where I believe we just touched on dinosaurs today with hosts Emmy and James. So we get into some pretty fun stuff there. A big thank you to everyone who joined us for the gauntlet last night. That was so much fun. We had a lot of crazy things going on, uh, so many chaos wheels. It was just a blast of fun. Uh, during this time, I would also like to take a moment to thank all of our patrons. Uh, we are so grateful for all of you. You are helping us to continue to grow. And I think with all that, we don't really have any other announcements to get to. So let me go ahead and blow my face out ugh, with all the light. And let's go ahead and get to our setup. Huh, how are you all doing today? It is It is lovely to see you. So yeah, diving right into it, we finished off highlighting her skin. Oh, and we also highlighted her uh, her face. So we've got that work done as well. So I believe next up in the order of operations, we are going to want to do some work on her armor. Uh, this is going to be... Well, right now it is... It's really glossy. And I was kind of worried about that. I wondered if maybe I accidentally picked up the uh, the glossy version of the, the Drucci Violet. Because I know I have in the past accidentally... Where did it go? Uh, I picked up a... Ugh, dropping everything all over the place. Oh, hey, Emmy. Hello, hello. How are you? In the past, you'll note one big different word on here is this gloss bit. And let me tell you, accidentally having a glossy uh, varnish is uh, or shade, it will make things very different for you. So at first I was worried that that was the case here, but no, I think it's just a little shiny to start with. Uh, hopefully when we get to the highlighting of this, we will actually be able to tone that down. Using my little cheat sheet here of all the colors that we've used in the past, for the armor we used a combination of runic purple and Styx purple. So I'm going to go ahead get those colors pulled out. These are both by Reaper. Eric, got my coffee going. My wife and I have been painting minis for about an hour. I just got finished with uh, darks on the wizard robe. Now uh, for me is highlights. I took a picture. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Eric, that is... I'm I'm so happy that I get to be painting with you two. This is, this is so much fun. Um, yeah, take a picture. Please send it to us. You can uh, shoot it over to our uh, Instagram, Facebook, social, all of the socials. <laughs> uh, Facebook would probably be the be best place to shoot that over to take a look. Oh, yeah. Uh, or as Emmy has said, put it on the Discord. You're, you're part of our Discord now. You can pop in and do that there. All right. So if memory serves, our combination here was about equal parts both purples. So we're going to mix this together and get that palette going. Yeah, that looks about right. There we go. Shady Scott, great to see you as well. Hope you guys are doing well. Oh, and music. One of these days, I will not forget music. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 
Okay. So, I'm going to kind of focus in here. Be, well, I'm going to focus. My camera's not. Jeez. This is when we're getting into that layering of... Um, we're, we're going back over with our original color, and we're trying to take away not all of the wash that we've done, but a good portion of it. We, uh, we just want those washes to hang out in the deepest recesses. So I'm making sure to get a good tip to my brush, and I've been starting on one side and kind of working my way over. I think with the armor, I'm actually going to work kind of top down. So here we go. Now, some of you may recall from Monday that um, when working on the armor, I accidentally um, got a, um, a big splotch of a different color on one of her pauldrons. Oh, hey, Zagmeister, how's it going? Um, and this is something that I get to just cover up entirely now that I'm going back over with this highlight job. Something else to take into consideration when doing this is where is your source of light coming from? So where are those highlights going to be strongest and where are they going to kind of recede a bit? I believe we're going to go easy and this is going to be kind of a, a top-down uh, shine of the light. So we're, we're aiming from like here. already that's doing a very nice job of getting rid of a lot of that shine going on hey history professor dave great to see you my oh it's it, we've missed you oh look at those new crush emotes going on in the chat <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm so sad that those didn't happen uh last night at the gauntlet uh twitch was still reviewing them however the uh uh the crush emote is our official Crom the Crusher uh, emote for him. So, you know, whenever he does some uh, some epic crushing in the gauntlet, you all can show your love. Or if somebody else does some crushing, like, say, Vom as well. That was, he had some, some epic work going on last night. Yes, a new e emote. Um, Sorry, I haven't been making the gauntlet. Our laser tag pod is casting at the same time over at the resupply. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, I, I totally missed your the laser tag bit. Uh, and no, no worries at all. No worries at all. Uh, we, it is not a requirement. They have to show up for all of our stuff to still be a part of our community. That would just get tedious <laughs> highlights on the robes look great great oh thank you um believe it or not i still i i actually haven't touched the robes with actual highlights yet this is all just the the highlighting that happens or that happened from putting a wash down so they're gonna get even better <clears throat> yeah, Vom's stats from last night are absolutely amazing. Resupply started as our laser tag group. Oh, that's great. Um, where do you uh, uh, where where do you go to play laser tag? We we had a laser tag place um, back in Colorado where we it was a a short walk from where I was living at the time. 
and they hardly ever had anyone show up. And so, as long as we play, paid for like four games, after those four games, the people running it, they got to know us and they'd say, hey, you know what, just, just do it, just go have fun. Uh, we got to get tours of the location with the lights on to see where all the secret points were. We got to play some uh, different styles. So there was like one style where one person start started, uh, they were the only ones that actually had their guns on. And then as they progressed, it was kind of like a, a zombie game where one person had their gun activated. And as soon as they shot someone, that person had their gun activated. And basically, it was a last person standing who could be the last person to get shot. So a combination of, of hide and seek and, um, and laser tag. So much fun. I know, that place was so much fun, Ben. Uh, Laser Quest is the best in Denver. I, I agree. I have not been to Laser Quest in a very long time, but boy, I definitely went there for a couple of birthdays back in the day. There was another fun style that they had where if you, uh, you could only walk at a certain pace. So if you started running, your gun would be deactivated. So everyone had to just slowly move while attacking one another. Lots of sites in the US, New Zealand, and Australia. Colorado, there are a lot of sites in love. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Chats, you guys are going faster than I can actually talk. Ah. Laser Force player. Okay, is we might have a Laser Force uh nearby here in LA. I think that might be what that one is. Not 100% sure though. In uh when I was in high school, I was I was really big into um, designing things and coming up with ideas for like games, you know. If you couldn't tell, here I am now playing D and D. Um, but I had designed like a whole model that you could do where you could uh, basically players could choose a different weapon. You'd have the the Gatling gun person who would fire off a bunch of lasers that were very inaccurate but you know you had a machine gun had a dual wielding pistol user had a, a rifleman had someone with a shotgun and those were like your options when going into the arena and then in addition some of the characters can have like a little grenade attached to a bungee that you could throw and it would go off and you can only use that every so often in in the arena Yeah, I was, I was a big fan of laser tag, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. Also, Dave, so happy that you know we were able to help get your get you guys up to to affiliate. I mean, we we just show up and have a good time. You you guys are the ones making stuff. Okay, so that is her boots having their first pass of highlighting. Left gauntlet. Did I miss the back gauntlet here? Yeah, a little bit here on the back.
Alright, here we go. This hand piece. Um, man, Dave, it sounds like you have a, a lot of knowledge as to laser tag locations. This, this, like, I'm a laser tag fan, but it sounds like you guys are trying to, like, professional laser taggers. <laughs> Which, that would be cool. That would be an awesome gig. Be a professional laser tagger. Go from uh, place to place. Dropping in on birthday parties and just wrecking them. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, don't do not do that. Don't, don't be mean to kids' birthday parties. It sounds like a horrible thing. Yeah, the different game modes were uh, were a lot of fun. We had, um, yeah, there was the zombie one. There was the one where you couldn't move very quickly. Um, team combat was a lot of fun when it was it was team versus team, free for all, obviously. Um, remember they had some other options that were pretty cool okay already needing some more hydration I'm feeling my fingertips lock up already I know one of the things on Twitch, like make sure you don't eat or drink in front of uh, in front of your audience. And I'm going, but I need, I need water. And there's a little caveat in there. They do say, hey, remember to stay hydrated. Um, I just always found that a little funny. Better paint something today, doing nothing but roll 20 uh, has diverted my hobby energy. Yeah, it is, um, I've actually been feeling something kind of similar, where, I mean, when, when we first started here at AP, um, like, our big thing was Miniature Monday, which happened every Monday, um, and not necessarily the live one, but the, the one where we would just upload a video onto YouTube every Monday. And as things have progressed, you know, we've got other shows that are going on, and I find myself focusing on other things. I really want to try and bring back Miniature Monday. Um, I'm like... My attention has been so focused elsewhere. It's been really hard. There's our first pass of highlights on the purple. Let's go ahead and add a lighter purple to this. 
What is going to be a good one? I mean, I suppose we could just put more runic purple in there. So glad our channel is expanding, though. Thank you, Dave. We, uh, we're, we're pretty happy about that, too. It is... Seriously, it, it puts a smile on our face every, every, every day. I woke up this morning seeing that we had three new followers and, you know, getting to see our, our analytics from our last week's stream. It's just, it's just a really nice way to wake up, you know? This whole week has been uh they are you crushing it. <laughs> thank you ben thank you yep definitely uh definitely a good choice of emote to to throw in there now we're gonna have to come up with something for our hey crom the crusher speak of the devil <laughs> yep your your emote is now live buddy <laughs> I think I'm doing my liquid or Ill illithid mind flayer next. Do you have a recommendations for mind flayer illithid kind of purple for the skin? Um, that is a good question. I'm not gonna lie, this color here is turning out really nice. This this combination of uh, Reaper's Styx purple and Runic purple. Uh, that's what we're doing her uh, the the armor in. This Styx purple would be an excellent dark uh, purple color if you wanted them to have that darker skin tone. But mixing that with this runic uh, purple, to, to be honest, it looks just like the um, the art out of the book. Um, so that would be that would be my recommendation. I've got a. Illithid ship captain around here somewhere that I need to do. Essentially, it's Davy Jones. But it's exactly what it is. Remember to breathe, Scott. Remember to breathe. Over 190 damage. Yeah, no, Chrome. You were you were doing great. <laughs> I just said that with the most enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, Chrome. That was that was a good job. Really, really great job last night. Thank you, Chrome. You you crushed it. Maybe I should just do that for my painting show, you know, I'll, rather than this whole YouTuber slash Twitch uh, energy that is so very popular, just go for a much more of like, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm things down a little bit. Um, Chrom, that uh, you do hit with a 19, so go ahead and roll damage. 18 damage. Very nice. Very nice. Moving on, it is the monster's turn. And they are going to 
use their breath re weapon on the party. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, not good. Not good. That is uh, 30 points of damage, uh, 15 if you succeeded. <laughs> can, can we just do Bob Ross D&D? &D? <laughs> oh, shoot, I messed up. I, I messed up in, in my order, which is going to make things a little harder to do down the line. I should have done her pants next, not her armor. Dang it. Ben, why weren't you there to tell me wrong layer? <laughs> a little in joke uh ben's got a, a twitch channel of his own and if you are a fan of um fashion and, and drawing fashion i i highly recommend checking it out actually fridays before the gauntlet he is designing fashion based off of monsters in the monster manual so kind of some some D, &D crossover there um, but, you know, occasionally he'll pop onto the wrong layer, and it's my job in the audience to be the one who's like, Ben! Wrong layer! Stop it! <laughs> yeah you did a naga guardian yesterday that was that was pretty sweet yeah no i i think we really should do a um just a, a calm D, D night here's the other thing i need to do i need to i need to be more myself <laughs> Especially when starting, ooh, man. Especially when starting these episodes, you all might notice that, you know, when I start things off, I'm very high energy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another painting in place. I'm Scott, and today we're going to be doing this. And you know, I, I'm not going to say that that's not me. I definitely can have that energy sometimes. But notice where I am now, and. Uh, I mean, you all have seen me on, well, many of you have seen me on the gauntlet, and you, you see the sort of energy that I have there. I, I definitely have that high energy. But here when I'm painting, I'm just a lot calmer. I guess what I'm trying to say is I am a fully fleshed out human being who can go through a wide range of emotions. Okay, there's our second layer of the purple done. Time to move on to layer three, where we're just going to go right to the straight runic purple. We're not going to mix it with anything. We're going just to that. We're getting a nice bright color going on. So you can see our transition here. We started with our combo of six purple and runic purple. We transitioned into one part sticks, two part runic, and now we're going to just pure runic. Could I take another section in there and do... Uh, three parts runic, one part sticks. Yeah, I could, but I'm not going to.
partner calls it professor voice and I have to record stuff for work. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It is. You know, we, we put on different personas based on our current situation. Every time I'm doing another layer, I'm just removing... I, I'm, I'm making it slighter and slighter. I'm, I'm making the, the area that I'm painting smaller and smaller. Well, thank you, Nightbot, for continuing to put our links in there. <laughs> See that, Ben? I'm, I'm complimenting now our other mod. <laughs> Oh, yes, Emmy has, Emmy very much has a customer service voice, and it is frightening. <laughs> Customer service voice is the most incredible change that you've seen in 0.02 seconds. Yeah, if someone can go just straight from their own voice, just popping into a thank you so much uh, sort of a deal. See, I don't have the best customer service voice. Um, but God, what, did, what was the one I used to do? Thank you for calling. How can I help you today? See, my, my customer service voice is very similar to my calm voice that I do here in the gauntlet. So... You guys are just getting it. Uh, ra -ba -ba. It's a side effect of working in phone and retail, sir. Oh my goodness, yes. I have not been doing these highlights for 30 minutes. Stop it, phone. And by phone, I mean watch. Just time. Time, would you please calm yourself? As I'm, I'm trying to read these out loud, but there's so many happening. I'm, I'm, I only get to read them. I don't get to respond. 
I don't mean to say, like, stop chatting. Please, keep chatting. Just know that I'm going to do my best to uh, continue to be a part of the conversation. Oh boy, her armor's coming along. Her armor is coming along. There's that. Um, now it's time to add an even brighter purple. Whoa! I'm trying to crack my knuckles away from the microphone so you all aren't hearing that all the time. Hmm. So we could add a brighter purple, or I could start to add some of this gray into the purple to try and lighten it up even more. And I think... Um, I think I'm gonna try that, because at, at some point, this is, this is metallic armor that she's wearing that happens to be tinted purple, so we do eventually want to get to that kind of silvery sheen of it, and a gray is going to do that quite nicely, so let's, let's see what this does. Ooh, that is nice, but very bright, very... stark contrast. Let's darken that down even more. Gosh, actually, let's darken that, darken that down even more. There we go. All right, that tells me we're going to have two more lay... My brain just died. Two, maybe three... Uh, we can we can add some silver back in. That's not. There we go. There we go. You can already see now on her arm, that's really starting to pop up. Mr. Awesome, hello! The painting is going well. We are moving along with her armor. Uh, we're going to highlight her armor after that, her pants, and then her cape, cloak thing. And then we'll have uh, a little bit of detail work to do. And then she'll be done. Okay, come on, fingers. <laughs> That's awesome, and I know awesome. Yes, Mr. Awesome, you do know awesome. <laughs> also, thank you.
Dragon Mage. Hello, RJ. How's it going? Okay, okay, stop. I'm shaking. I'm shaking way too much for my own good. There we go. About to cook up some hot dogs. Yeah, get yourself some hot dog. Oh man, I could really go for a hot dog now. Whew. Anyone else doing anything uh, fun and special on this day? I know it's kind of... Difficult to celebrate right now. drying out really quickly. What the heck? Stop it! Watching adventures pack ah <laughs> you you zagmeister you're you're just trying to butter me up <laughs> Hamilton but don't have Disney Plus may have to bite the bullet. Ah uh, yeah, that is a the I'm excited that that's on Disney Plus now. Um I will admit that uh we've gone in on well, I said we've gone in. We we have access to a Disney Plus, which is all I'm going to say about that. Uh but you know, the big reason I've had for the longest time for Disney Plus was uh, The Mandalorian, which is absolutely amazing. Highly recommend to anyone and everyone. Um, but... Yeah, seeing that Hamilton was on it, I thought, whoa, 
oh shoot, this is just icing on the already very tasty cake. Okay, there's where her armor is right now. I told myself I was going to get a piece of paper to help my autofocus actually focus, but I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. Is it? Is it? It's, ooh, kinda. All right, hold on, let's go into the settings. Camera one. Configure settings. Why am I singing this? I don't know. But I'm gonna keep doing it until it's done. There we go. Oh, you. Here is where she's at right now. Yep. I think one more, uh layer of adding just a wee bit of silver to that and we'll be good to go yeah seriously Briona you MVP of last night's gauntlet 100% Yeah, I maybe went a little too hard and too fast on the uh, on the gray. I could have done an extra layer in there, and, and realistically, I should have. But, you know, it's okay. It's still looking good. The other thing that's really gonna really gonna help this out once all of this is said and done is just giving everything a very light oh, oh, glaze It'll take a while to save up to 5k again. Yeah, that'll... Oh, Nelly. But look at you and having the foresight to go, you know what? I'm going to save up for this. Because I think it's going to be super, uh, super important. All these people throwing around. Adrenaline surges left and right nah i'm going to i'm going to wait i'm going to wait for the big stuff and you did and 
hey, you're all saving up points right now for, uh, for it. <laughs> yeah, maybe a few other people are saving up for it too. If we go a third week without a TPK, um, I mean, I will be shocked. I think the party is weakening. Curious about what else could happen on the Chaos Wheel, but I think I'm going to use my points differently next week. Yeah, no, it's it is the the party is the party is pretty spent. See, I made it uh, strategic for everyone involved. Actually need to go back over with one of the older colors. I did a little bit too much here on this. And there we go. That is the armor highlighted. Oh boy, she is. She's coming along. And of course the camera's not gonna. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, I've got some direct questions coming at me, and I just will continue to sing anytime this. I haven't had a long rest. Yeah, no, Lontiel's not coming back at full strength. She, you have not had a long rest. Um. Um, let's see. Can't speak for everyone, but I know Fesson has a few lay on hands. Yeah, so you got a little bit of, of that left. So, Zagmeister. Scott, I had a question about last night. In the room with the avian humans, don't remember what they were called, Aarakocra. The enemies had extra javelins. Could the party members that you can use the weapons search them and take the weapons for their own? Um, that is a great question, Zagmeister. So, Early on in the gauntlet, the uh, party members had tried to do something similar. I was like, "Hey, let's let's back when the when the rules were, there was enough time to try and loot the room." Uh, the party tried to do so. However, they learned very quickly that anything that they picked up uh, said property of the gauntlet on it, and things that weren't actually weapons were clearly props. They were made out of just cheap material. And anytime they go to another room, anything that doesn't belong to them is left behind. So, unfortunately, no, they would not be able to loot the gauntlet, uh, as it were. All right, that is done. Time to move on to the legs. Memory serves. The first color that we had going on on her pants was this angel green. So let's go ahead and pick that out. Don't worry, Zegmeister. Happy to, happy to answer those questions. See, I also like... 
uh, our time here in the painting in places because I get to take the time to answer questions like that. I don't really have enough time during the gauntlet to answer questions. I am far too preoccupied with, you know, the gauntlet. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is nice. Thank you for the close-up, Scott. The Empress looks great. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. She is... Oh, she's coming along. She is certainly coming along. Here's the great thing about now the fact that I just highlighted the pants. Um, just like that, the first layer of highlighting is done. It is so much faster. So, now that we've got that done with the angel green, let's put a lighter green in here. Uh, goblin green could do well to work that tone up. I think... Mm, no, that's... No, not that, not that. Let's throw a little bit of goblin green in there, see what happens. Mr. Awesome, would you paint my figurine? Um, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. Uh, what, uh, what figure is it? I've never actually painted something for someone else. Um, the closest thing I've ever done is I painted uh, an entry for a competition. I've never done um, commission work. I've... Um... And heck, I'll... I'll... I don't mind saying, and the whole the whole reason that I haven't done anything like that is uh, I never thought I was good enough. Now, I'm not going to have this dive into a whole, like, oh, I'm, I'm insecure about, about my work, because uh, that's not what this channel's for. Um, but this channel has helped me a lot with my confidence, and I, I know that I'm still a, you know, compared to other works out there, uh, somewhat of an, of an average painter. Uh, but I'd, I'd have fun painting a figure. Uh, shared it on the Discord the other day, the furry figurine. Oh, the furry figurine. Did I see that? Did I see that? Which section in Discord did you share that to? It's like three years old. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I think anyone can paint. It's just a question of... <sighs> what am I gonna... Nightbot, calm down. I'm having a, I'm having a conversation. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, practice. Practice helps. Um, but I also think that we are 
we're better than we give ourselves credit for. All of us. I, not, not just me, but anyone, no matter what it is that you do. No, you... We're... People are really good at putting themselves down and not giving themselves enough credit. So like, I... Here, hold on. song. This is really calming. Alright, let's see here. Hold on, Mr. Awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a look. I wanna make sure that I saw it. Uh, AP the gauntlet. Uh, let's see, general the gauntlet. The furry one. Furry one, the furry one, the furry one. Wait, no, not the fu not the furry one. The furry one or the fury one? <laughs> um, fury, not furry. Wow, I had that all sorts of wrong. Oh, yeah, fury tea leaf. Do you mind if I, Mr. Awesome, do you mind if I um, show this on the, uh, on the, the stream really quick? Can I, can I show the thing? Um... Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this guy. It's it's not a great viewing, I know, because camera on camera and whatnot. You as in tuba, yes. Um Yeah. You know what? Okay, I wanna I'm I like that mini. I think it's a nice design. First off, Hero Forge, so much fun. If if any of you aren't doing Hero Forge, uh, or or you know you you play D and D but you don't know about Hero Forge, check it out. It's an amazing resource. Great great stuff. Highly recommend it. Uh, all right. Also, we're gonna put we're gonna do her pants up one more. Um. To do so we were using goblin green and we're pretty much at the goblin green now let's just do straight goblin green um i'm trying to look at this and 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 see if i could print it because here's the other thing that i'm gonna say i might be able to print it okay Mr. Awesome. <laughs> I Oh, Manic Pixie Traveler. Thank you so very much. Well, I'll try and get into the earlier Bob Ross that we had going on. Anytime I'm anytime I'm complimented, complimented. Wow. Hep -hep 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 words. <laughs> anytime I'm complimented in any way, I feel my voice just kind of sink in I'm like, "Oh, thank you." And I, I go back to that that calming thing. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to say, Mr. Awesome. If you want to um, actually, before I finish saying this, I'm going to put a really big disclaimer out there. I'm not, this isn't like something I'm going to get in the habit of. I'm just I'm just kind of liking this idea all of a sudden. Um, if you are interested in that character being painted on this show, um, if you want to buy the 3D file for it, and then, um, and then send the file to me via Discord, 
I will, I, I have a 3D printer here. Uh, you've seen that, you guys have all seen that I've done, uh, I've done some 3D printing before. Um, I will print it, prime it, paint it, and we'll, let's, let's have that mini, let's have that mini be one of the, the minis that we do here on painting in place. Um, and I will absolutely paint that mini. And before I tell you that I'll send it to you, uh, I gotta double check. Um, don't give me like an address here in the chat, but just ballpark. All right, do you live in the States is going to be the big question. <laughs> like what's, wait, wait, where, do you live in the United States? <laughs> Because that'll make me actually sending it to you actually feasible. Texas. Oh, yeah. Then I can totally do it. Tell you what, then. Yes. So you can buy just the file. That, um, so the option is to buy the STL file, which I think runs about $8. So much more affordable. Um, and then you can send that file, that digital file to me. I can put that up on my 3D printer and print it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the printer that I have is not the same quality that Hero Forge uses. It is a much lower quality. However, um, let me grab really quickly a couple of printed and painted miniatures that we have here at the tavern from my machine. So give me a second. I'm not going too far. I've got them on my shelf right here. Um, where is, where are you, where are you? There you are, okay. So, um, here is one pre-painted and one post. So this is my, uh, uh, my dark elf monk. His name is Drathir. Uh, let me get the camera going on so we can get a nice... No, turn off the autofocus. Ugh, guys, I, I I look forward to the day that I've got a camera with an actual lens. All right, there we go. Um, so this is the quality that I can do here. Um, it's not as smooth as Hero Forge because uh, it uses, as you can see, the the line uh, the print line printer as opposed to a resin printer layer printer that's the word i was looking for um so this is the, kind of what the mini comes out as and then here's one that was painted actually by um uh by emmy uh so this is then the quality of a paint job that can be done on the minis that i can print here so again it's not going to be um uh, like the resin quality that you would get if you bought it from Hero Forge, but it's comparable. So, yes, Mr. Awesome, um, if you want to go on to Hero Forge and buy just the STL file and send that to me via Discord, I will print it and I will paint it, and once that's done, we'll get uh, the address from you and I'll, I'll mail it to you. If, uh, if you're comfortable with me, let me get the camera right again. If you're comfortable with me painting something that you created, uh, or th something that, that, you know, you designed, if you're, if you're okay with that being a, a, a painting party episode, let's, let's make that happen. Who am I on Discord? Uh, if you go into the Discord chat, uh, I'm just, I'm just Scott. <laughs> um, it, I'm in the pack member section. If you really want to and, and can't find me directly, you can you can just post it in the painting in place chat or channel in our Discord. Uh, just post the link in there, and I'll make sure that I get it. Yeah, no, I'm really happy with this. Now, I, and again, I'm going to say this right now because I I can see the the floodgates opening with this. Um, I'm I'm not. This isn't going to be a habit. I just really like the idea of doing this all of a sudden, and I also like the idea of. Someone in the chat was like, hey, would you do this? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later, 
don't don't start messaging us with like hey please paint mine please paint mine please paint mine like no i <laughs> calm down <laughs> uh okay so we've got her pants done now as well let's go ahead and move on to her robes uh, and actually I'm gonna, I need to take a quick break. I need to refill my water. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot of talking. And now that this is running for two hours, we actually get to take a short intermission. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take a very short intermission, uh, about probably just about three minutes. And uh, we'll be right back. I'll have some more water. And uh, let me pop this up so I can, you can actually see me. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. I'll have some more water that I can drink and be able to talk some more. And we'll continue working on her cloak. We'll see you in a quick second. And we're back. Hello, everyone. I hope that that was uh, a nice little break. All right. So, I, it's not like I have any other announcements or anything. I'm just so used to when I have the uh, the me, the big me on the screen. It's like, oh, I got to talk. No, let's let's just get right into this. <laughs> it would be fun as part of the show to see a time lapse of the 3D printing and then painting the figure. Oh, Spoonkins. Hello. I love that idea. Um. 
Mr. Awesome, how do I purchase the STL file? Um, it should be an option in Hero Forge when you go to buy. It should say, how do you want to buy this? Uh, and your options are um, the the different materials. They have like the, the cheap plastic, the expensive plastic, the metal, the gold. Because yeah, you can get them printed in gold these days. Um, but one of those options should be downloadable file. So yeah, that that should be it. And yeah, no, I will. I'm, I'm pretty sure the cameras that I have right now, I've, I've got the capability to do maybe not a traditional time lapse, but definitely a. Words. A sped up video. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Getting onto her cloak, we have here that her or her cape, we used Dragon Red, and so Dragon Red right here from Reaper. And we're gonna go ahead, water this down just a wee bit. It's down to a nice level, yeah, that's good. All right, and actually I'm feeling this begin to dry. Don't have a proper pouring method, so. I was gonna pour some more water into my wet palette, but yeah, man, that is getting really dry. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the cloak, cape, whatever we want to call it. The thing that she's wearing on her back and sitting on, but not the throne. Ooh, that got a little, that got a little too watery. Need to figure that out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it'd be it'd be fun to post the process of getting a, a mini printed. I do eventually want to get a resin printer here at the uh, the tavern. Right now, we've just got a um, an FDM printer, and the difference is uh, resin printer are those are the printers that pull a mini or a whatever you're printing uh, pull it out of cured liquid so it's as if some uh, a handle just kind of goes into the liquid and then wah, pulls out uh, a finished item the printer that i have is uh, referred to as an fdm printer commonly known as a, as a layer printer and those are the ones that you see where there's just like a nozzle that zzz, zzz, zzz goes over and lays down um, layers of plastic material and a, uh, a something is is built one layer at a time the uh, the other differences between them resin printers get uh, much higher quality prints they, uh, the materials that you get from them look, the, the, the products that you get from them look just perfect. Um, they are a little more expensive to use. The resin costs a little more money. And, uh, there is a bit of a, a chemical smell that permeates, so fumes come off of the printer. The resin printer or the, uh, the, the layer printer, the FDM printer, the one that I have, that I should know, I should know the name of it better than that, jeez. Um, are far cheaper to operate and um, don't give off any sort of a smell. And you do sacrifice 
print quality. However, if you've got your settings set properly, you can still get very good quality. Um, the settings that I use when printing minis took me about six months to really finalize and fine-tune. I had used settings that had been publicly posted, but then I was just going through and making sure that it worked perfectly for me. Um, but it's a great hobby and is actually a lot more affordable to get into these days. The, the printer that I use is called a, an Ender 3, and it's incredibly affordable, uh, somewhere in like the $200 range. And the reason for that is you, uh, you assemble it. it it's not a, a plug-and-play sort of deal where you get it delivered and, you know, Christmas morning, you're so excited, you open up the box and you plug it in, you go, what am I going to print? No, it's you get it Christmas morning and you open up the box and see what's inside and go, ah, I should probably do this when I'm not hyped up on... Um, uh, coffee and and the Christmas spirit and then you spend an entire day building it and then you spend months getting the quality to where it needs to be and then when you've got it to where it needs to be something breaks and you go no shoot no and I have to go out and get something else um Yeah, so that's that's why the the kits are a lot more affordable than uh, the <laughs> the the ready to go ones. But you can get ready to go ones that cost you know a couple thousand dollars. Uh, Eric, I'd like uh, to see the process as well. Yeah, we can make that happen. And the fumes would be a turnoff uh, when we think about getting one. Yeah. Um, so you can still have a resin printer indoors. You just need to make sure that it's by a window so you can vent the fumes outside. It's it's doable. Unfortunately, here at the tavern, it's... We don't have an easily accessible window that could house a 3D printer. And it's not big. I mean, it could fit on this table very easily. Just... It's not... It's not in a place that we can do it right now. All right, so we're going to mix in a little, what, what is this one? Just flat red, uh, a little bit of Vallejo's flat red into this dragon red to help bring the color up. Some of you might be thinking, well, Scott, if, you, if you're wanting to lighten the colors, why don't you just add white? You know, why, why don't you just keep adding white to it and, and get the pigment going that way? Well, you know, if we add white to red, we get pink. And I don't want pink. I want a lighter red. There we go. Uh, Mr. Awesome sent you a message. Hope it reached you. Oh, well, thank you. I will uh, check it and make sure I got it here in just a moment. I'll, I'll do that here to make sure that that's happening. Thank you. 
History Professor Dave, yeah, the difference between brightness and desaturation. Can brighten cool colors with white, but not most warm colors. Well, that is that is where all of the uh, all of the different tones come into play. That's why I have so many different shades of everything. And no matter what, it's never enough. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to lie, highlighting these reds might be my favorite. I, I love this color so much. Uh, Benjamin, however, if it, I use a light uh, yellow, it can help achieve that effect. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Dragon red is a fun color. Oh, yeah, it most definitely is. Oh, look at all these artists in the chat. This is amazing. I love it. she goes what's the actual name of the character that I'm painting so this is uh, this is from Reaper and this is a um, uh, this is the dark elf queen on her throne uh, hey look at that fury tea leaf STL uh, yep I uh, I've got that looks good uh, looks like I've, I've got the message from you, so if anything goes wrong for any reason, I can get in touch with you. But that should be everything that I need to start printing it. So I will, you know, as soon as the stream is over here, I know I've got some other stuff that's going on today, but I will get the the printer fired up. I'm pretty sure my printer's name is Buddy, because there's been a lot of time of me going, come on, Buddy, come on, please just work. <laughs> so I'll get Buddy fired up and... See about getting him printed today. Oh, thank you guys. Hey, you you all have done so much for us. You know, we I, I talk about how excited I am that the channel is growing and how how great this is, but let, let's be completely honest. We are growing because of our community. Um so anything that I can do to be like, hey, let's 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 do something for you. You better believe I'm gonna do it. Also, it sounded like a lot of fun. And also, I like the idea of now people in chat going, wait, if if I ask this, could this maybe happen? You never know. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mr. Awesome, you are, you too are an awesome dude, um, and you're welcome. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing it. I know I said the next thing that we paint was going to be huge. I don't know, so I'm, I'm having this back and forth of, I, I don't know if getting him printed, uh, if he'll be ready in time for next week. 
So if we don't finish the the queen today, then that gives me more time. But let, let me let me ask you all. Let me ask you all in the chat. Um, with the camera as it is, are you still able to see enough detail to appreciate these smaller figures? Because my my biggest concern of doing smaller figures like this, which to be frank are my my specialty. I'm I so much more prefer doing the smaller things like this as opposed to the big pieces. Um, but I'm, I'm hesitant to do more of them because I, I want to get a better camera so that you all can see it better, you know? But let's be honest with ourselves, a better camera is still a ways down the line for us. But if you all are able to see this, then yeah, I could do Fury's 3D printed uh, character next. Let's see, huge like important or huge in the sense of larger creature, larger creature. Not on the Mac, I can only see it on the Xbox or the widescreen. Ah, when you do the close-up, it's nice, but otherwise it's sometimes hard to see the details. Yeah, I I was worried about that. And you know, the only reason that I'm doing this many now um, is because it came with the throne and the throne was large. Not on your phone, but I can see it on the tablet. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting the feedback that it's it's difficult to see this smaller stuff. So here's what I'm thinking. Mr. Awesome slash Fury. I'm gonna get this guy printed. And, um, you know, we'll get the, the time lapse of it printed on, um, we'll put that up on our YouTube. And then we will, we won't paint it next. Likely the next mini that's going to be painted is going to be a large mini. And primarily the reason for that is it can be seen on on the screen. Um, after that, hopefully, we will have grown enough that I will have been able to invest in a better camera for us. And when that happens, I'll be able to paint minis like this more often because we'll be able to zoom in. We'll be able to get the detail. So once that happens, we will paint your mini live. And I also give you my word that if enough time goes by and we aren't able to invest in a bigger camera, I will just bite the bullet and paint it like this live here anyway. So there we go. That is my promise. All right, lastly, we're gonna go straight to the dragon red, or not dragon red, that's what we started with, straight to the flat red, and that's gonna be our brightest point right now. <laughs> Ooh, almost got enough for the Wheel of Chaos there. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I like the Wheel of Chaos. There's some fun things in there. 
I wish there was a way for me to show the players it spinning. Uh, unfortunately, the, the spinning of the wheel only happens on Twitch, and none of the players get to see it. Um... Oh, that reminds me, I gotta switch the text on that. I am so surprised, though, in, like, the, what, the five? Oh, Mr. Awesome, gotta go, gotta do dishes and get grilling. All right, well, Mr. Awesome, thank you so much for dropping in. Uh, and really excited to be working on uh, on your mini here soon. You have yourself a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time. That is her cloak. So let's get one of those close-ups. Yeah. <laughs> get to the focus. Turn off autofocus. And tell it... I really need... Why are you not... Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll do it by hand then. There we go. So, there is the, the front. And there's the back. Looking pretty good. Oh, boy. I think, oh, no, we still have a couple of things to highlight. Let's turn this autofocus back on. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. So, we still have her crown to work on, which, boy, it's hard to, hard to see that. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if there was a way that I could just zoom in or have it focus more. All right. I know this is going to be the most interesting bit of um, content in the world. Bear with me. I'm just going to see if I can't focus a little bit better as is. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. How's that look? Yeah, okay, we're going to stay there. Uh, we're going to keep it like this. I'm, it's, it, I'm probably going to pop in and out of focus. Oh, oh, this is so much better. Okay, yeah, we're going to... This is where we live now. All right. Hey. <laughs> okay. Ow. Uh, let's work on that crown. Let's work on that crown. What was the original color that we used on that crown? Light sea gray. And I'm still not even... I'm still not sold on that color. Um, but, you know, it's where we are.
All right, let's make this work. Light sea gray, light sea gray, and we're gonna light sea gray, and we're gonna work our way up to this ghost gray. I am so grateful that I picked up this ghost gray. I am now using it for everything. Oh my gosh, yeah. Why didn't I ever fix this focus? <laughs> hey, all right. I know what we're doing now. Uh, light sea gray. Where are you? Dark sea green. That's close, but not. <laughs> Wait, did I? Light sea gray. There we go. Light. I'm not kidding. I, I can't make that up. We've got light sea gray and dark sea green. Vallejo, you gotta you gotta up your paint name game. That's <laughs> all right. So we're gonna pop this up here because we're actually gonna reuse this uh, this bit of gray that we've got over here. We're gonna try and mix these two colors together. Oh, it looks. Right now, it looks to me so bad because it's out of focus, but it's because we're going to bring things into focus. Yes, we're this. This is good. This is better. All right, so let's, starting off with the light C gray. just blends into the hair it just blends into the hair okay folks um i might we're, we're gonna take a quick second while that dries and rather than having you watch paint dry we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna chat for a little second um i have never when painting a mini before changed something this far into the process Here's the issue that I'm running into. The crown, I can already see. If I continue the crown as it's currently going, it's just going to blend into the hair. And I, I we can't have that. So rather than going for this silver look, I'm going to change it entirely. Now I say it entirely. It's just the crown. It's not that big of a thing. But we're going to change the crown from this light gray to hmm, a darker color. And you know what I'm realizing about this model? As far as I remember, there is no dark stone anywhere on this model. And I think we might need to have a little bit of dark stone. Just saying. But no, I, we need to, we're going to work our way into either, you know, this black gray or dark stone. Actually, no, not dark stone. Um, black gray, German gray, which are the same color. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to make the band of the crown this really dark color. So it sticks out very differently from her hair. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous because I've never changed something this quick or this far into a pro into a into a project. But we're gonna do it. It's going to work out, and we're going to be better for it. So let's get some of this. Uh, we're gonna do black gray. Let's get some of this black gray onto our palette, and let's not screw up. watering it down. I don't want to water this down too much though. I don't want this to be, I want this to stay in the area that I'm going down. Crown needs to be a darker color to stand out. I like your color choice. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. All right. Here we go.
Skin alan neyse. Slow and steady wins the race. And then it disappears right there. Yep. For a second, I just put a big old streak across her face. some water. Alright, here we go. nerve-wracking at all. All right, we got to let that dry. Um, we got to wash that now. We got to we gotta give that some shade. Uh, we need to then highlight it. And luckily, I was able to do that in such a way that uh, I'm not going to have to touch up anything, which is great. with the focus a little bit more there we go that's good that's a good place for that to live brilliant oh man yeah it doesn't look like just a gem horn coming out of her forehead <laughs> that's i agree and that's uh, that's good because we didn't want that <laughs> all right wow so uh with that drying to be honest, it should be dry, so we can go ahead and give it a wash. Uh, to wash this, we're going to use known oil, obviously. Mm -hmm. Here we go, got our known oil. See, this is just further proof that it's never too late to change your mind. That it's never too late. always change things. Oh, 
and being very delicate with the uh, the wash here. We don't want to put too much on here. Got a little bit on her hair, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take the brush now, dry it off, and just go in and soak that up. And just like that, it's gone. Okay. So there's the wash. So we have changed the color, we have changed the wash. My Nuln oil is refusing to close. Come on, buddy. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. If you thought I was, uh, if you thought I was panicking fixing that, just wait until we get to the eyes. <laughs> oh boy. All right. That is great. So things that we still have yet to highlight, and I'm actually going to take note of this because uh, uh, otherwise I'm going to forget. Uh, we have now the crown. The gem, her necklace, as well as, that's it, min details. How are we doing on time? Five minutes. I can do some of this in five minutes. Let's go ahead and do... Her necklace. So her necklace, I think, was also that um, light sea gray. And that I'm okay keeping that color. that and then we're gonna add in <clears throat> a little bit of this gray to lighten that up even more Ooh, something got in my throat that like a sheen and then we're gonna work up to pure white so this should really shine Now with this, what I'm doing is, uh, it's difficult to see, but I'm, rather than highlighting the broad strokes, I'm really trying to highlight it down to almost a jagged line in the very center to show that light is reflecting off of this. Mm -hmm. 
let's do the last one. That was almost pure white. Now we're going to get it right to that precise pure white. There we go. That looks pretty shiny. Ooh, there we have it. So, the necklace is done. That is quite a lot of, uh, of work done on her. A lot of highlighting as well. Uh, I don't think we're going to finish her today. Even though we got a lot of work done, we still have a bit more to do. Uh, I still need to highlight her crown. I need to highlight the gem on the crown. Um, and then we're also going to have to... Um, do her eyes, as well as some small details. There's a couple of buttons on that are holding her cape up that I want to hit with something else. Maybe try and hit those with like a soft yellow to make it appear slightly golden. But then that should do it. So we didn't finish her this time, but we're definitely going to finish her next time. And boy, she's she is looking. She is really starting to look regal. Da -da -da. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to do that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, um, man, I'm one of these days I'm going to figure out how like my actual wind down for this is. Yeah, a lot of work done. Still a lot of work to do. We will definitely be finishing her on Monday, though. So uh, if you want to see that, be sure to tune in. It'll be at one o'clock, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time on Monday. I uh, just want to take this time again to thank you all so much for joining. For those of you who this was your first time, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have you. For those of you who are returning, uh, thank you all. It's, it's always wonderful to have you here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and, as always, I will be popping into our Discord for a post-show hangout. If any of you would like to join us there, come on by. We'd love to have you. For those of you who don't know, you can join our Discord. So we've got all of our links for our social below the video here. Facebook, YouTube, well, YouTube's not social, but we have other videos on YouTube. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, um, Discord. We would love to have you be a part of our community. Thank you so much for joining today. And as always, I will see you at the next Painting in Place. Bye, all.